policy committee meeting to order. Oh no. no. Oh. Doing board meeting. Board doing board 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 board. Oh, that's right. I'm just, I was going to the next one. So eager. <laughs> I'm with you. Y'all in here. Let's do it. Come on now. You ready? Yes, let's go. You ready? Roll call. Yeah, I'm ready. You okay. Ready? Um, calling board meeting to order. Roll call, Miss Cindy. Ms. Richards. Present. Mr. Toller. Here. Ms. Abrams. Here. Mr. Westmoreland. Present. Mr. Duncan. Here. Mr. Anthony. Here. Mr. Moore. Here. Mr. Piazza. Ms. Dominguez. Present. Thank you, Ms. Sidney. At this time, we're going to have the Pledge of Allegiance. All veterans and active military, please render the proper salutes. And we are going to have our own Ms. Darby Toller. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Wait, she got to remain there. She's going to sing the national anthem. <laughs> okay. Item C. Consider approval of board minutes of May 3rd, 2023. So moved. Mr. Toller. Who second? Mr. Westmoreland. Mr. Westmoreland. Okay. Any questions? Call to vote. Voting is open. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Item D, consider approval of board minutes of June 6, 2023. I make a motion. Ms. Abram. Second. Second. <laughs> Mr. Mingus. I thought you said Ms. Abram second. <laughs> no. Motion. Okay. All right. Call to vote, Ms. Cindy. Voting is open. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Ms. Abrams, recognize intangible parish school systems for the 2023 TART war. I can do this from right here, Ms. Janice. Um, we wanted to recognize the Tangible Parish school system. As you all know, I do fundraising for TARC, and the school system plays a big part in our fundraising every year. So um, this past year, uh, Penny Power, we raised quite a bit of money with our jugs all in the schools, and we wanted to recognize the school system as one of our major um, supporters in doing that. Um, La Rancho Elementary, <coughs> for I think eight years or nine years in a row now, was the top school raising close to six thousand dollars just in their little school system so uh, we want to thank all of the schools all of the teachers uh, for doing that and it says in recognition to the Tangeville Parish school system thank you for your outstanding performance and a dedication to our mission at TARC where we teach assist and reach and connect families with individuals with special needs and it's our two ambassadors for this so Ms. Dilly you can hang this in your office yes thank you, <clears throat> thank you so much Um, by the way, we do have our very special Miss Louisiana pageant this weekend for TARC for young ladies and little girls with special <coughs> needs. It'll take place at the Mission Church this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Follow us on Facebook if you'd like more information. What was the total amount raised? You might have said it. Um, the total amount was a little over $36,000 that we raised um, for total of all the schools. And that's in a three-week period. Wow. wow. That's great. A lot of pennies to count. <laughs> yeah. Add up. Okay. Moving on to consider committee reports. Uh, capital outlay committee for the whole, May 30th, 2023. So moved. Second. Okay. Moved in second. Any questions? Call to vote. Voting is open. Thank you. 
Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Item B, Finance and Audit Committee, May 30th. I make a motion. Second. Call Voting is open. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Policy, Policy Committee of the Whole, May 30th. I make a motion. Thank you. Second. Thank you. <clears throat> Call to vote, Ms. Sidney. Voting is open. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Motion to make before you take it. Okay. Uh. So, so, so yeah. go ahead. Personnel? Well, yeah, before we take up the personnel committee report of June 20th, uh, I have two rule waivers to make so that we can properly take that report up. The first is a move to waive the rules outline in policy BBC requiring that committee reports lay over for at least one day before final adoption. So the motion is to waive that rule. Second. Requires a majority vote of the board. Okay. So we need to vote on the way. Yeah, we just need to vote on vote whether to waive the rule. Yeah. Okay. A, a unanimous vote. It just requires a majority vote according to the policy. Okay. Majority vote of the board. Motion to waive the rules to require the one day review of minutes. Yes. Right. It, the, under, in policy um, BBC. No, because those were from May the day. Day. <laughs> This one's from earlier today. So that's why I was, yeah, yeah, was from today. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What po what was the policy code, Mr. Duncan? I'm sorry. That policy is under policy BBC. DBC. B as in boy, B as in boy, C. Okay, thank you. And then that policy requires a one day um, layover before final adoption. So we're asking to waive that rule. And again, just a reminder, the reasoning behind that was because the state law changed and we need to adopt this before the end of the month. Okay. Voting is open. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. I also have one additional rule waiver, Madam President. So I would move at this time that we consider waiving the rules outlined under policy BD, prescribing a specific procedure for the adoption of policy. To the extent that the salary schedule changes the policies of this board, um, would just move that we waive the requirements of that policy, which that policy allows us to do that by majority vote, um, um, so that we can consider this today. Uh, specifically, if you, I know that the salary schedule, most of it is not 
truly a policy but if you look at the text of that salary schedule there were specific pages throughout it where it it even uses the word policy as it relates to salary schedules so I, I believe there's multiple aspects of that salary schedule that could be interpreted as being a policy change <coughs> um, and we are not adopting it in accordance with mm -hmm. the, with our policy on <coughs> making policy changes so I, I think it would be um, a good idea to, to acknowledge that and waive that rule uh, those rules so that we can adopt this tonight of policy policy B D so the motion is to waive the rules and policy BD as it relates to policy changes of the board. No, I'll second it. <clears throat> B E as in bad B a as bad dog. B as in bad boy, dog. a bad okay. dog. Leroy Brown. <laughs> that <laughs> Mr. Duncan <laughs> made the motion. I'll second. Thank you. Thank you. Voting is open. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Now the pers personnel committee. Move to approve the committee report from June 20th. With the two waivers. Okay. Second. Okay. Second by Mr. Toller. Call to vote, Miss Cindy. Voting is open. <clears throat> Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Now we're down to the superintendent's report and our recommendations. Yes, Madam President. Um, item 4A, uh, we're asked the board to consider approval to refer the following policies to our policy committee. JS, student fees. JSP, appendix <coughs> A. JCDB, student dress code. JCDA, student code of conduct. K. J, School Community Organizations Relations, GBBA, Qualifications and Duties, GBRIF, Bereavement Leave, JCDAE, Student Use of Electronic Devices, and GAE, Nine Title, Nine Complaints and Grievances to the Policy Committee. Make a motion to refer. Second. Okay. Motion to second. Any questions? Call to vote. Voting is open. <clears throat> Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Item 4B, consider approval of the substantial completion certificate for the TASP re-roof project by Lakeshore Roofing and Construction Incorporated. Make a motion. Second. <clears throat> Questions? Question. Mr. Moore. Uh, so we're... we're, we're uh, this is an approval for a uh, completion of the of the roof task. This is for the entire. Yes, sir. Substantial completion for the roof. roof. The roof only. The roof. 
Okay, so we did see it receive a certificate of substantial completion. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Call the vote. Voting is open. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Item 4C, consider approval of the substantial completion certificate for Punchatula Junior High School re-roof project by Capital Construction, LLC. Move to adopt the approval. Second. Any questions? Call to vote. Voting is open. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Item 4D, consider approval of the substantial completion certificate for the Yoakum Road Elementary School upgrades to the HVAC and EMS system by Metro Mechanical LLC. Motion to adopt. Second. Questions? We've already been through everything, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Valeruda. We've already tested everything and make sure everything is okay. Okay, call to vote. Voting is open. Voting is closed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Other board action. Consider approval of the professional service agreements for electrical maintenance services with Marks Electric, Tangi Electric, and Maintenance and M and R resources for a period of two years. Mr. Terry. Uh, yes, ma'am. This. Uh, our electrical contract came due and uh, there's a tremendous amount of electrical work that needs to take place at all of our 32 school buildings and, and, our, and eight of our support buildings. Uh, with that amount of electricity that, that needs to be reworked and worked, um, I thought it'd be wise to have three contractors on board so that we can just do a round robin effect and, uh, and that we can get more work accomplished in a shorter amount of time across the breadth of how large uh, Tanko Parish is. We had uh, 11 electrical companies interested. We had six submit, and there was three clear winners. And those are the three that are being presented to you tonight. So move. Second. So what, in effect, what you'll do is somebody's working on one, you'll go to the next one, yeah, to the next good. job? Yes, ma'am. The next job? Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> But we already have a negotiated price with these contractors. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's good to have. Or these three companies, and I'm assuming they're chose, chosen based off of uh, what their rates they quoted you were. Are these the cheapest three, or do you feel like just the best three? The best three. Because I see some uh, quite a, uh, you know, kind of varies in rates a little bit. And because of that, do you kind of try to lean toward the one that charges less and then fall back on these others if you have to? Well, when. I'm going to go in in order. When it's their turn, it's their turn uh, in round robin order. Okay. Now we will still bid stuff out though. If oh it's yes, a, sir. A, a substantial yes, project, sir. we would still bid it out just yes, like sir. we would typically do. So that 
won't circumvent any of the bidding process, I'm assuming. Correct. But this will be just, if we need a, a fan installed or a new yeah. light switch or whatever, we're just gonna. Right. Okay. If we need that, or, or if we need a, a new main installed from where the street <clears throat> and it connects to the, to the building, well then I can ask these three guys for a quote. Right, you know, gotcha. For the work. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Any other? Out of vote. Voting is open. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Um, Mr. Terry, consider approval of the low quote to relocate a structural building from Amit Elementary School to Perrin Early Learning Center. Yes, ma'am. Um, Perrin has had to add an additional teacher, and there is no classroom for that teacher. Uh, and there was a, this building is available. And uh, so we just, then the low quote was um, Seminole Home Movers. So we're, we're asking so, for. So move. Uh, Second. Second. <laughs> this is subject for I'm Second. assuming these are one of the ones that we have least purchased and now it's ours or. Yeah. These, are, these are classrooms that were actually built at Amy Elementary. They were built up off the ground. So they're moving, okay. but they're not pulled. I got you. Ah. Is it just one classroom or is it uh, two classrooms? Well, it's just the one. one classroom. Okay. It's one building. Okay. <clears throat> so are we moving the second. building as a temporary classroom or is it? Yes, sir. We're moving it for I mean, temporary purposes? Because right now they, right now, It'll be temporary. Well, but these buildings are not necessarily considered, they're not considered temporary. No. This is built in this place. This is considered so. a built in place building uh, that will bring to Perrin. The, the principal was actually talking to me today and, and, is in, and she said, please stress to the judge the need that we have to have um, for this, this classroom. She has two new teachers and needs a spot. So this is moving a permanent building, but it's movable, much like you see a house that people live in because it's off the ground, they're able to move it. So it's a movable building, but it is not portable for what the courts have deemed to be portable. Right. But we also have an expansion project for pairing, which is part of phase two. Um, and so, but that's not gonna happen this year and it won't probably won't be finished by next year until we'll solve the problem. Right. Okay. It's a lot cheaper than leasing them buildings with leasing too. Yeah. Move it. Right. <coughs> is this a, is this a part of a remedy for overcrowding or say it one more time? Is this a part of the part of a remedy for overcrowding or is this just? It's a request by the principal because because he, he has a uh, she has a uh, a teacher without a classroom, so it, it it's growing. Parents growing. Call to vote, Ms. Voting is open.
Voting is closed. Motion passes with Mr. Moore abstaining. Okay. All right. At this time, we will move to personal privileges, and we'll start with Ms. Rose. Pass. Yes. Good. Okay. Ms. Moore. Good. Duncan. Glad to have my daughter here with us tonight. Yeah. Uh, appreciate her <laughs> doing the pledge for us. And um, we're going to blink, and summer's going to be gone. So I applaud all the work that Mr. Terry and the entire maintenance crew is doing. Um, but I encourage you to um, get out in the schools in your area, in our area, and let's identify anything that we can see that we need to do before school starts back up. And I will say this too, just to remind us, we talked before about having our committee meetings start having them at different schools. Uh, I know there's some issues there with with uh, streaming the meetings and everything else, and I know it creates another headache for Miss Cindy, but um, I still believe that's important for us to start doing on a regular basis with our committee meetings. and. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if we do one a month, that's 12 schools that we as a board get to visit and get the principal to show off their, their facility. So maybe we can start that next month. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good. I'm good. Rolling. Thunder's rolling. Let's, let's keep rolling. Okay. <laughs> Superintendent? <laughs> We're good. Uh, okay, Mr. Duncan, can you take us into litigation? I move to enter executive session to consider the cases of Alicia Smith versus Tangerville Parish School Board and Jewel Miller Jr. versus Tangerville Parish School Board. Second. Channel 17, proudly serving the Florida parishes.